Today we're going to go over how to do out-of-the-box adjustments to your dropper post to ensure it can go up and down just at the press of the lever. The first thing we are going to need to do is to remove this lever here from the bike so we have slack to work with. Take a four millimeter Allen key, go ahead and twist this until the lever comes free. And then we're going to go ahead and place this bolt somewhere where we won't lose it. After we've removed the lever from the handlebar, we are going to take that extra slack and push down on the cable housing from the top and pull out the bottom. And we can go until the cable is almost to the side of the frame. That way we have a lot of slack to work with here. After we have our slack, we're going to take a 5 millimeter Allen key and go ahead and loosen up your seat post clamp here. And while pushing up on this, we're going to remove it up. Here you can see that the cable is very loose and not seated properly into the dropper post. That's what we're going to fix today. For this next part, it's easier to do with an extra person. I don't have an extra person here with me today, so I'm going to use a bike stand to hold the seat while I work on this cable slack here. But you can really use any way you can find to hold the seat up while you have access to this cable. For this next part, we are going to use a 2mm and a 3mm Allen key to adjust the barrel nut here and tighten up this cable. Take the 2 millimeter, put it in that side, and of course, that means the 3 millimeter goes in the other side, and we are just going to loosen it up enough to where the cable can move. We don't want to take it out fully. Once that is loosened, all we have to do is pull the cable. So that the cable is tight and the housing is seated fully in this clamp here. Now while we're doing this, we're going to want to make sure the housing is also seated fully in the lever. I'll show you what that looks like right after I tighten this down. So we're going to double check, make sure we are fully seated. We are. Once again, take our 3 millimeter Allen key and our two and a half millimeter Allen key. And tighten it down. Once we have that barrel nut tight, we can go ahead and put our seat post back into our seat. Get that out of the way. We are going to make sure this cable is pointed down. Cable end is pointed down. And we're gonna pull down the housing while we ease the seat back into the seat post. Once we have a seat at our desired height, we can go ahead, retighten our seat post. And at this point, we can go ahead and re-pull our housing up through the frame of the bike so we have enough slack to tighten the lever down onto the handlebar again. Once we have the slack pushed through, we can go ahead and reattach our lever to our handlebar. We just take it and screw it right back into the hole it came out of. Be sure not to cross thread this. We are just going to tighten it down very snug. Now, we're going to double check and make sure our cable is seated fully into the barrel adjuster here. As we can see, it is. There's little to no slack there, so we can be sure that our seat post is going to operate just like we want it to. And we're going to make sure that our lever pulls and retracts automatically. 
Now that we have our C post reinstalled, tightened down, and our letter reinstalled, tightened down, and we've double checked and made sure that our housing was seated in the lever and seated in the seat post, we can make sure our adjustment was successful. Push down on the lever, and then push down on your seat post, and then release the lever. If you've done it correct, your seat post will stay down until you press the lever again, and it quickly comes right back up. Now from time to time as you're riding, this cable can stretch just like every other cable on your bicycle. If that happens, you can use the barrel adjuster on the end of your lever to apply more pressure to your cable and make sure that your seat post stays functional. That way you don't have to go ahead and pull the seat post out and retighten the cable every time you want to make an adjustment. If you have any other questions, please feel free to reach out. We're always happy to help and we have a dedicated team of mechanics here ready to answer your questions. Thank you so much and I hope you have a wonderful day. Enjoy your ride.